Staging the text, part one, and this first part will be divided into three parts as well to show the development in shorter cuts. The first part of staging the text is to analyze and to create an interpretation of the text we have in mind to work with. So what we are doing, what we want to do, is to transform something written on a piece of paper, two-dimensional, to something that is three-dimensional and based on actions, because theatre and drama means to act and to watch. And a text can be anything that you think is interesting, uh, even if you are using poetry, you are using the telephone book, or you are using a play that is... A, written by a dramatist. Anything is possible as long as it's interesting and as long as it creates images in your mind. Just to remind you a little about what to focus on, it's the will of the character that is superior than what they are said. So the lines are not that important. It is the action. And the plot is superior to the characters. That means the whole story is more important than one single character. The analyzing process when you are you want to state something is different from when you are analyzing literature. Uh, analyzing for staging is to find your own interpretation, not to find what the author thinks is the right way to do it. This process can sometimes be done by one person, but it's better to somewhat involve the whole group to participate in the analyzing process. That will help them to understand the play in a more holistic way. So the outline of the three uh, elements in this uh, film, the th it will be three films actually, divided into the text we are working with first, it's lyrics. Then we are working with a, a tale uh, based from Mauritius. And the final part will be four pages of a script from a dramatic play, just to show that the same method can be applied on three different kinds of text. That will be an interesting tool for you to work with. So we will learn how to read the text in a naive way. That means very often it's a neutral way to, to approach the text. How to identify the basic elements in the text and how to create fragments of the text and how to investigate piecewise and questions to ask the text. All this is done to open the text for your unique interpretation. So we are opening up first before we start to close the text. We will also learn how to decide our theme, how to identify our major conflict and how to decide the turning points. So we will slice the text also into smaller pieces that will make it easier to rehearse later on. And we, I will show how to let the headlines that we are creating, who, that will guide the actors or rather the characters, uh, the headlines are expressing the will of the character, and that is the background to the actions, and also the background to the lines. We will also learn how to create a personal reading, how to clarify the text, meaning also to remove parts that doesn't fit in our context we are creating. And I will show how the set, or the set design is decided from the analyzing process. So it, everything you do is based on the result of the analyze. And also in the end, in the third part, the third film in this uh, more theoretical part, I will show how the actor can work to analyze their roles. So all this is done again uh, to first open and later close the text before starting 
to rehearse. So why do we analyze? We, we need to first understand all the aspects of the story or the text in order to turn it into something so we can stand behind on stage when performing. And the process can divide it into two phases. I have already talked about the first phase where you are reading uh, the text naive and this ends with the decision of our theme. The second step ends with a process script with given circumstances and a set and maybe even some more details because you have decided uh, when this will happen, where it will happen and so on. And first now we are ready to start to rehearse. Just to show you the idea of what we uh, what is the whole process of staging? So first we have the basic analysis, that is the study of the text, the author, where the text was created, if there were some circumstances that can be interesting to know about, how was the society, do we have anything that connects to socio-economical circumstances and so on. And what we are doing right now is to do the play analysis. That means we are deciding the theme, we are creating the personal reading, the role analysis, sequences, headlines, turning points, uh, and so on. And this is what uh, analyzing the text, the first part of staging the text, is about. Then we go on stage, we start to improvise with actors based on the theme. We investigate the sequences, the situation, improvisation. I will come back to that later. The actors have to work with the text to understand the lines and how to express them. That means what, what kind of main words do we have. The extended work is to go deeper with the, with the characterization, uh, the in, uh, intentions behind the will, thoughts, feelings and subtext. Subtext means that this is your thought that is guiding your actions, but not necessarily your lines. So if you think I hate you, but you, you say I love you, that is an example of a subtext. Then you continue to work with partner contact. So that means the, the, the actors and the characters start to mix and uh, relate in a deeper way. You work with silent rehearsal, spoken subtext, swap of roles, relationship improvisation. First, now we can start to... Uh, add the technical aspects of the of the staging. So you have the light, sound, music, costumes, set design and so on. So please don't start too early to think about this because this is usually a trap uh, where you will never be able to create something if you only start to discuss the light. The main thing that we have to focus on is what happens on stage between the characters. In the end, you, are stu you, you work with the rhythm and the tempo of the whole uh, performance uh, so to, to create a whole f flow that, that it can be interesting to watch as an audience. You don't have to speed up the tempo all the time. Sometimes you need to make it a little more slow. So you create a rhythm and a tempo of the whole performance. You put every piece together. And then it's time to meet the audience for open rehearsals, last week rehearsals, and the opening night. That means the premiere. So without this process of analyzing, we will only reproduce, not create. We will present only a translation, not an interpretation. And we will have a very technical uh, uh, approach to the text, not an artistic uh, approach to the text and we will have on stage no common idea of what we are telling uh, the analyze is the base it's the foundation for the performance and everybody should know about what we are telling so what we are doing in phase one now that means we are opening up the text and prepare it for our our, our multiple possibilities so we need to have a closer look at, at the elements first of the text. And the elements, they are who do we find in the text, where can we find them, when is it happening, and what is happening. 
not only actions but also what objects are in use. The why and the how must be excluded because that is a part of the actor's work, how they will act and the motivation behind the action. It's, it has to be left to the rehearsal process. Promise you, very important. Otherwise you take from the actors what they what is the main work for them. So now the first example, and this is the text example of a lyric. You will soon see it's a monologue. On a dark desert highway, a cool wind in my hair, my refers to the narrator here. Warm smell of colitas rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. Night, dark desert highway, you have here both the where and the when. There she stood in the doorway. I heard the mission bell and I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven or this could be hell. Then she lit up a candle and she showed me the way. There were voices down the corridor. I thought I heard them say, Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place, such a lovely place, such a lovely face. Plenty of room at the Hotel California. Any time of year, any time of year, you can find it here. So I will not show you the whole text, just the, the three first parts of this. So let's stop now and see. What we have to create now is fragments. So we are creating a list of words. And in the end, we will have a list of words that we need to think uh, of separated from the whole context, the text. So this is the fragmentation of the text. So we ask the main questions to get this kind of list of words. Where, when, who and what. Sometimes even how can give us a key to understand, but in our own way. It's not about finding the right answer, it's the finding the right answer for you. What is the text about? So we do this fragmentation to free our minds from assumptions and, and very fast conclusions. And note that uh, what also includes objects in use. Now I will give you a complete list of who in the text of Hotel California by the group Eagles. So we have I, the narrator. We have she, the one who welcomes him uh, at the door. And we have the voices that we can hear. We have the boys, probably someone and friends. They are dancing at the courtyard. If you remember the text, we have a captain. We have a spirit. Now the spirit can be um, understand in multiple ways. So, but I, I have to put it here because spirit can also be a who. We have prisoners. We have the master and we have the beast. Finally, we have the night man. Now you can look at the who separated from uh, the, the understanding of the text and you can ask yourself, what kind of context do you see? There is multiple possibilities. I will let you have some looks. Uh, some will say it is something about an army. They are referring to the captain. Now it's a prison. They are referring to the word prisoners. It is hell. And they are maybe referring to the beast. It is heaven. Don't know, but beast, master... Spirit could all refer to heaven. And some will say now it's about colonialism and the master, the slave, you have someone who is prison. So there is many ways to understand this now. So we continue again to fragment where we have a desert, we have a highway, we have a doorway, heaven, hell, corridor, hotel, California, room, Courtyard, ceiling, chambers, passage. So see if you can shape up some kind of, of, of patterns here or if you see something that surprises you or looks a bit odd. So maybe the passage could be interesting. The chambers, 
hell, courtyard. Maybe you can get some ideas what this text is about, but don't close it too early. When night, summer, after the year 1969, because in one of the verses it's mentioned we didn't, we haven't had that spirit here since 1969. So it's after the year 1969. So what objects are in use now? Uh, so objects here is defined in a wider aspect because we have to look for what are in use. Um, we have to search for the odd and see if we can find a pattern using your uh, your or our own mind. Maybe some words need some explanation. I will just highlight some of them and maybe some of them need some kind of further investigation or explanation. Uh, maybe kolitas is something you have to look up. What is a mission bell? What is Tiffany? Or who is Tiffany? Mercedes? Spirit, again, something that attracts me because you have multiple options to understand the word. And you have the device. So this is just some words that I highlighted because they might need an explanation, might need to have some answers in the future. So what do the objects tell about the story and um, in whole? This can guide you to find your understanding. If you look at the actions, I will not go through all of them, but some seem to be repeated over again. Hearing, saying, calling, remembering, bringing. Yeah, that's all. And maybe also here you have to look for words that can interest you. What is check out, for instance? As you see, there is many actions going on in this short uh, text. So what do you look, look for? You, you are searching for opposites. You are looking for contrast. What, is stand, what stands out? What is odd? And do I find some kind of pattern? This is question that can lead you to your own understanding uh, and very unique understanding of, of the text. So if you have not found it yet, I will go through the adverbs too. And here you have some uh, that describes how things are. Answer the question how. So you have dark, cool, warm. Already here you have the contrast. Shimmering, contrast to dark. Heavy, dim, lovely, plenty, twisted, bent, pretty, sweet, pink, steely, and programmed. Maybe you find some of the words surprising and interesting. Keep that in mind. This is how we work. So we are not looking for the right answer. We are looking for, for your answer to create an interesting staging to share with an audience. So to fragment the story will help you to see new possibilities that involves your own experience and your own context. And here are some suggestions from uh, students at the Mauritius Institute of Education when they have been analyzing Hotel California. Some they have seen this is happening after death. This is a nightmare. Now it's about sexual abuse, drug addiction, materialism, living on an island. Now the story is about uh, the, the place in between life and death. It's about dependence, to be dependent. Uh, it's that mental hospital, it's clear. So this is uh, seven different ways student have understood underst uh, understood the text and that will decide also what, if they are staging it how it will be staged so now you understand the method of creating fragments of fragmenting a story to open it up for your imagination and you are hopefully familiar to the elements what who where when they focus these elements they focus on the actions the characters, the place, 
and the time. In the next video we will have a look at a new text and with this knowledge we will continue to, to develop your knowledge about how to analyze a text. This was the first part. Thank you.